The 20th problem on this first ACT practice test focuses on the properties of parallel lines. For trapezoid ABCD shown below, lines AB and DC are parallel. So AB and DC we can mark as parallel lines. The measures of the interior angles are distinct and the measure of angle D is X degrees. What is the measure of angle A in terms of X? So we're looking to figure out what does this angle here come out to? So before we jump into solving this particular problem, let's take a closer look at parallel lines in general. So if we have two lines that we know are parallel and they have some line crossing them, usually referred to as the transversal, so in our case, we have parallel lines AB and DC, and line AD would be like this transversal. So with these parallel lines, what we know is that, let's say this angle here is X. Then we know this angle here is X because it's a vertical angle, but we also know that this angle is X and this angle is X. And what we also know, let's say this angle is Y here, that this angle would be Y, this angle would be Y here, and this angle would be Y. And what's important is that X and Y are always going to be supplementary. Or in other words, X plus Y is equal to 180 degrees. So these two interior angles here, X and Y, like what we have here, would be added up to be equal to 180 degrees. So we'll call this angle BAD. So what we have is that X plus angle BAD is equal to 180 degrees because they're supplementary. And if we subtract angle X from each side, what we have is that angle BAD is equal to 180 degrees minus x degrees. And based off of the answer choices, it looks like choice F here would be the final answer.